the Galaxy Z Flip 6 has just got Beta 2 for One UI 7, which means it's going to be close to its full release. Let's take a look at what Samsung have updated on here to see how much closer we are to the final version. Welcome back to Sam Mobile TV. You're here with Daniel. And in front of me is the second beta of One UI 7 on the Galaxy Z Flip 6. Samsung haven't changed a lot here. The update file size was incredibly small compared to what it has been in the past. I'm not expecting to see a lot, but in saying that, it's always worth diving in and seeing what we can find. I have no change log here, but there was a change log on the S24 series that said that the S24 and S24 Plus has got log with beta number five. I'm interested to see if Samsung have brought it here with the Flip 6, seeing as how it's running the same chip and likely the same camera hardware. So if I launch the camera and go into the settings, if I go to advanced video options, no. Still, there is no log here with the Galaxy Z Flip 6. Samsung, at this stage with its beta program, has decided not to include it. They could be testing it. They could still be working on it, optimizing it. I, for one, am hopeful that it will be on here. And hopefully in the coming betas or even the final release when that happens, we'll see it here. But as of now, there's nothing regarding log. Next thing I want to check is Galaxy AI. So if I go into the Galaxy AI menu, with beta one, there was no change to the feature set that was originally on the Flip 6. And as we can see here, there is again, no change. The only change actually is call transcripts. That's the only one that we can see. Last thing I want to check is the now bar. If I go into lock screen on AOD and into now bar, what we have seen on the S25 and most recently on the S24 Ultra's beta is sports from Google get added and the media player got added to the S24, but removed and not in the live notification section. Let's see if it's the same here. Hit now bar, as you can see, sports from Google makes its triumphant, not return, it was never here to the live notifications as part of the now bar as well. And you basically just go in here, go to your sports from Google settings and you can add your teams that you want to follow. And then that syncs with the now bar and adds it in. The other thing that I've noticed is the media player has been moved out of the live notification section, but that in absolutely no way shows that it's not going to be in the live notification section. If I hit and change it to here, to this phone and and then exit out of Spotify. You can see it right at the top, the live notifications for the media player. And it's also in the notification section as well. So that's great news. You can obviously control it. And of course it's still part of the quick panel too. So there's just, I guess a couple of little niceties that have been included. The other thing actually that I didn't highlight in the last beta is the nearby devices toggle has been added in on the S24 Ultra and also here as well. And if I hit the nearby devices, the way this works is just a really simple drag to connect. So once you go through all of that, it just tells you drag the device into the circle. So if I got my S25 Ultra here, drag that in. Well, that's annoying. Why doesn't that support that? Well, I guess it's still not working. Hopefully that gets fixed again in future betas, but as of now it's keep saying that it does not support Dragon to connect. As I said in my video the other day, Samsung have announced the full release of One UI 7 beginning globally on April 7th. S24 series is up first and they followed by the foldables, including the Flip 6 that I'm covering in this video. Make sure from April 7, you keep checking your phone and hopefully Samsung will have it in your market very soon. Anyway, the Flip is closer again to being One UI 7 final version ready. So we'll see what that looks like and make sure you hit subscribe to keep up to date with all of that to Sam Rebel TV. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.